in this video i will talk how to drop multiple tables which have a fixed pattern for example if i expand demo cube and if i expand tables so if you notice there are some tables which are starting with temp underscore so temp underscore abc temp underscore data temp underscore pqr and so on you see sometimes we as a developer we are developing some of the things and during the development we create some temp tables once our development is done those temp tables become useless so i want to drop those temp tables here i have only five tables but let's suppose it may have 50 tables so you will not be going to do do like this drop table and drag and drop table number 1 then you will again write drop table and drag and drop table number 2 because what will happen if there are 50 or 100 tables you have to write the drop command one by one and you have to delete all the tables so it will be very very lengthy process so i will tell you a shortcut method from which you can drop multiple tables in one go so i am writing select star from sys dot tables now if i execute this command so you see i get the list of all the tables which are present in the demo database make sure when you write this command demo database should be highlighted because now it is showing me all the tables of demo database but i am not interested in other columns such as object id description create date and so on i am just interested in the name so what i will do i will put name here and i will be going to execute this command so you see these are some of my tables but i am interested in those tables which starts with temp underscore so for that i am writing a command where name like temp underscore percentage and i will be going to execute this command here if you notice i got all the tables but i got two other tables which is temperature and tempo traveler and these two tables i didn't want to delete i was only interested in these five tables so you have to be careful when you are dropping the tables because by mistake you may get the tables which you actually do not want to delete it so you have to double check when you are doing dropping kind of operation now how will i solve this kind of problem that these kind of tables should not appear here you see i have used two kinds of wild card characters one wild card character is underscore the definition of underscore is that underscore represents one character when you use it in the where condition with the like clause and another one is percentage which is represented like this and percentage represents zero or more characters when you use it in the where condition with the like clause i copy this command paste it here and what i will do i will put d so what it will give me it will give all the tables which starts with d so if i execute this command these are the two tables which i have got now you see if i put d and 3 underscore 1 2 3 so means after d there are three characters which is a t a so this one will be satisfied but daily will not be satisfied why because after d there are four characters but i have put three underscores in this particular clause so if i execute this command so only data is satisfied but if i put if i increase one more underscore so now you see the complete daily is satisfied now what happens when you select this command this underscore is not represented as a character it is represented as a wild card here in the like clause and again you have used another wild card which is percentage so actually you have used two wild cards here so here you see temperature and tempo traveler is also satisfied because temp is fine after that you have one underscore which is satisfied by e 
and then percentage mean rest of the characters in the last case temp is fine then o the underscore is satisfied by o and then traveler is satisfied by the percentage so here it is actually represented as a wild card it is not represented as a character if you do not want it to be represented as a wild card then what you can do you can put it in these square brackets now if you execute this command now this underscore is not represented as a wild card character it will be represented as a normal character so if i execute this command now so you see i got only those tables which starts with temp underscore so up to now it is fine but my main target was to drop the tables so let me tell you a trick let's suppose i write a character i write hello here and i put comma and execute this command so what will happen because i have five records so hello will also be repeated five times so this is a trick which i will be going to use it here so instead of hello now i am writing drop table and space now if i execute this command so you see i got drop table drop table drop table drop table and so on now what i will do instead of comma i will use the plus sign so what will happen this particular string is concatenated with the name column so now if i will be going to execute this command so here you see i got a command which is drop table temp underscore abb drop table b drop drop table a drop table b drop table c and so on now what i will do i will select this right click on it copy this result set and paste it here so you see i got the script now i select this and i can execute this command so when i will execute this command so all the tables will be gone and if i refresh it so you see all the temp tables are gone now so you see this is a shortcut method with which you can drop multiple tables but you have to be very careful you have to test each and every table carefully because by mistake it can happen your pattern which you are using may satisfy some table which you may not want to be included in your drop command if you have 50 tables or 100 tables which you want to drop you can easily do that the same technique can be applied if you want to drop multiple databases so the command for selecting multiple databases is select star from sys dot databases so here you see i got the list of all the databases and because these initial four databases are system databases you can write where database id is greater than 4 so if you do that so you see you got user defined databases and after that you can write the drop command if you want to drop all the databases of uh, the server in one go so so this kind of technique cannot be applied into one situation you can imagine many similar situations now after learning this trick if you enjoy this video please click the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos and please check the links below for one to one online training and more information for sql server and bi technology training